Thank you, um, Elizabeth. My name is Zaira Garcia, and I'm the Texas Chapter Associate at Forward Data. Um, today is extremely hard, and um, I still am trying to find the words to process the pain that I feel. Um, I, along with my three sisters, are U.S. citizens, and both my mom and dad are undocumented. We live every day with an overwhelming fear of losing our parents to deportation. And it's something that just never goes away. We hoped and we prayed for the relief that DAPA would yield not only my family, but the millions of families who are trapped in our broken immigration system. And this is about moms and dads who have been humiliated and exploited and continue to keep their heads down out of love for their U.S. citizen children. Because worse than not receiving pay for work you did, is not being able to be there when your children come home from school or work. I'm devastated and I'm sick to my stomach with the news that I will have to give my parents in a little while. <laughs> and what the court does not understand is that I will continue to fight for my mom and my dad because they deserve better. They're the two most hardworking, kind, and loving individuals that I have ever known. And for now, I will continue to live in a world where every time my phone rings and I see that it's my dad calling, I'm paralyzed with fear, thinking that it's the call that he's been stopped on his way to work. But the fight does not end here, and we will continue to fight for the millions of families trapped in our broken immigration system. And I will continue to fight for my parents. Um, and I just hope that everybody joins me, and this is not the end. So um, with that said, I'd like to turn it over to Kika Matos, the Director of Immigrant Rights and Racial Justice Center for Community Change.